So, um, so as a I believe I'm getting some interesting lag between your video and audio. Is this happening for everyone else? I so, so, uh, me, but not to you. <laughs> what what is the problem? Uh, sorry, I could see I could see uh, your lips moving, but I could not hear you. Uh, please, uh, yeah, uh, do start your talk. So I'm I'm from uh, so I'm from uh, as you said uh, I'm uh, from the same place as uh, Titouan. As I'm, I'm going to to talk about uh, the quantum channels and what we can say about the this distinguishability. So the framework is that, that we, we have a control QDIT, we have a quantum state in which we can, we can apply several quantum channels. And for, for each basis state, we have, a, which we have chosen a particular sequence that we want to apply possibly in a superposition. Some simple examples. So, uh, ch channel for for each uh, for each basis state is uh, simple. In the quantum switch, we control the order of the two channels using the control qubits. We we also um, look at cases where a channel can be repeated uh, so here twice. The, the, these uh, all uh, of these examples can be realized uh, quite easily with uh, quantum optics, physically. With the, for, for instance, uh, the control qubit uh, being stored in the polarization of a photon. And here is uh, a polarizing beam splitter, which uh, will reflect the, the basis state associated to zero and transmit the one. And this is a is a flip is a flip that uh, exchanges the, the two basic states of the polarization. So here we are reflected and then transmitted, then uh, finally we're reflected, which gives us uh, what we want. So if uh, if the channel is unitary, it is uh, quite easy to define the, its uh, a controlled version here with the uh, identity and with the uh, control qubit. But with a CPTP map, it is uh, it is not possible. For for instance, because because the the phase is not taken into account here, uh, changing for instance uh, u in in minus u you will uh, will change uh, this. Whereas this is uh, this will. Uh, not be seen by the CPTP map. And similarly, if, uh, if we pass twice uh, through the same, same channel, uh, there, there can be some uh, entanglement with, uh, with an external uh, environment, we will, uh, which will uh, change uh, the result uh, when passing the second time. So we need more information and we want to characterize it. For, for this purpose, we we describe the, the channels as a unitary evolutions on the, on a joint uh, space uh, with, with a, an environment. So any any physical channel can, can be described as, as this, and this contains uh, any information uh, needed uh, about uh, implementations. And this corresponds to to strengthening uh, dilation with uh, where the isometry is uh, transformed into a unitary uh, with, uh, with some uh, initialization, which is easy to it's easy to, to turn the, the isometry into this. But now we, uh, we have uh, too much information. There are many such descriptions that are, that are equivalent. Uh, oops, sorry.
Um, should I answer the question now or at the end? It's entirely up to you, but there is a dedicated time for asking for answering questions at the end. So I, I, I would encourage you to, to continue the talk now and then we will answer them all later. Okay. So we... So we want to, to characterize uh, under which conditions uh, the, the what we should call the purified channels are, in this, are distinguishable on to know uh, precisely which information is, uh, is really needed. So we work in the framework of PBS uh, diagrams that we, that we introduced uh, with, uh, with Simon Perdri. Uh, Previously, this is a graphical language uh, inspired by uh, some quantum optics, which is uh, the diagrams are generated by uh, the polarizing beam splitter, the polarization flip uh, that we call the negation, and uh, basically unitary matrices uh, on, the, on the additional state. data state and the, so the, there is an empty diagram and I an identity wire and a, and a swap and the diagrams can, can be still uh, bond, some can be bunched uh, in sequence uh, in parallel or there are no compact structures but but, uh, but there is a trace uh, Put the feedback on the last wire. And, uh, and one can uh, deform the diagrams without ch changing the meaning. This, uh, this language has uh, two kinds of semantics. So the first, the first one is an operational semantics that we call the past semantics. And for, for each uh, basis state of the polarization or on the position of that the photon initially has uh, the, described the, the where it goes out and and the transformation the, the data is uh, undergoes. So if I'll quickly de describe it, if, if the polarization is uh, the reflected one, then this is reflected. It goes so it's u one, u two. It goes out with, with the same uh, here the same state and, and with the product u two u u one. If the polarization is a transmitted one, then it's worked uh, the same. Yeah, the, it changes, change. It goes into the loop. Uh, it continues uh, until it goes out. Uh, so the denotation. Yes, man. And the denotational semantics uh, uh, maps the initial state of the, the photon, which is a, a single for a single photon, uh, to the output state. And there is a, the, a correspondence between the two semantics. You say that, that they, that they describe the same thing. And also an equational theory that may allow us to to transform the to to say which diagrams are equivalent to, to each other. So now we we, we enrich this framework to to work with the purified channels. The construction is the same, but we. But we use uh, purified channels uh, instead of just matrices. The example I uh, have put uh, over one here to, to emphasize that, that the environment can be of dimension one, and then so the initial state is a scalar. It also has a semantics, which is a little complicated to, to describe in full details, but. Uh, we 
take the, the transfer product of all the environment state, spaces and uh, initial states. In particular, we can note that, that the, we consider that the channels uh, do not share the, the environments with, with each other. The unitary evolution only act on on the on H and their own uh, environment, so they are tensored on, with identities to uh, to act globally. We make them act. Uh, we, can, we take the, the matrix U D, uh, which describes the, the, the action of of all, all these uh, unitary evolution. Uh, the photon go, goes through the diagram and then we trace out the environment to, to have a CPTP map which is, which is uh, okay now because we, we have uh, taken the coherent control context in, inside the D. We just uh, have to, to add uh, an input and to measure some, something at the output. Mm. To, to characterize the distinguishability or not of, uh, of the channel. And consider such diagrams with a single hole, in which we, we will plug, plug uh, purified channels and see if, uh, if the semantics is the same with the two different channels. No. Precisely, we, we consider two, three restrictions of uh, context. The first one, uh, we, uh, there are some uh, interest. But the first one is without PBS. This is a case we, where we do not uh, perform uh, any coherent con control. The, the second one is uh, without uh, changing the polarization. To, so we can uh, control the channel, but not uh, repeat them. And, uh, and uh, the kind of PM at, at most twice, but this is an, uh, this does not uh, really restrict the, the power of, uh, of the or the distinguishability. Um, and the last uh, class is with uh, without a restriction on the PPS diagram. So, uh, we, for each uh, of the uh, these uh, classes, we define a, an equivalence relation uh, and uh, indistinguishability in, in the case of uh, of each uh, of each case uh, of each uh, class of diagrams, which is uh, having the same semantics for any any context. And, uh, it's a small remark. We we, rest, we have uh, restricted the context to, to a single uh, input and output wire to avoid uh, allowing for inputting a, a photon which which is already in a superposition of uh, of several uh, positions, which, which will uh, add uh, some some coherent control. But we want to de describe. Uh, the coherent control inside the, our diagrams. But in fact, uh, the diagrams are powerful enough to, so to, to have the, is that uh, if, uh, as soon as the, there is uh, some coherent control in the, the class of context, which we are considering the, in fact, allowing uh, for such, uh, for such additional current control, uh, does uh, do not uh, add any, any additional power distinguishable distinguishable in uh, channels. Um, in the first case, uh, without current control, uh, not very uh, surprisingly, we we uh, we get the, the fact that the two channels are. Uh, are indistinguishable if, uh, if they have the same uh, CPTP maps, the same uh, super vector. But if, uh, when in the case where uh, with uh, current control but not uh, repetition, we we have to add uh, this uh, transformation matrix to the description uh, of the ch of a channel to, to 
have a full description, which is uh, obtained by, uh, by doing the evolution. Uh, and instead, instead of tracing out the environment, uh, we, pro we project it uh, on the initial state. In the general case where we can also uh, apply a channel twice, we have to, to add a, a second order super operator and a transfer emission matrix with uh, two copies of H uh, as an input and an output, which uh, apply uh, U on each of them uh, in a sequence, uh, each of them uh, modifying the environment. Here we are. We have not uh, written the, the condition of the on the first uh, super operator because the fact it is in, included in this uh, in the second one. Mm -hmm. So there are two three marks. So, so the, the these three conditions are are, are no, not uh, redundant. So the, each of them is necessary. The same for for, for the case of uh, of negation free diag diagrams. The transformation matrix is really necessary and uh, but not does not uh, capture the, the super operator. Uh, and also the the, the, the relations are, are really different. Each of them uh, strictly we refine the precedent. We uh, look brief, briefly as, uh, to the case where for, for the, um, so the unrestricted case where uh, the channels can be uh, used uh, any number of times, uh, any as we want, uh, we conjecture that this is a, uh, well, that this is uh, captured by, by this uh, relation, which uh, comes from, it's a time swing uh, theorem. And this, and this is not uh, captured by by, uh, by, uh, by PBS diagrams with only two. So to sum up, we have a our main result is that we have an extended version of PPS diagrams. And we have a, a precise characterization of the information needed uh, in uh, several cases. The, the form of uh, super operators and transformation matrices. Mm. <clears throat> So as a perspective, I can mention the fact that we can uh, consider more, more general quantum control. But there uh, we, we cannot uh, suppose uh, that uh, the, without uh, generality, the loss of the full in, the, in, the, in what we have done, we, we can assume that uh, the environment is, remains the same because if, uh, if we repeat a channel twice, because the, any evolution can be included in the purified channel itself. But if we pass more than twice, we, this is not the case. We have to, like they can happen different things. In particular, uh, in, the, in this, uh, there is a uh, investigating the whether uh, the equivalence is a good notion, uh, and we think that this is the case where, where when the environment does not evolve uh, between, the, between the, the use of the channels. Another thing would be uh, considering a equivalence of uh, not only of uh, purified channels, but only or, or, or also of uh, diagrams. And look at uh, the equational theory. Mm. 
Så den sängen tänkte jag få jag vet inte 